I've just found an AI tool that I think you'll become a power user of, and that's because when you create scientific or research-based presentations, you have to create visuals to go along with what you're saying, and that can be a massive time sink. You have to design what you're gonna say, you're gonna have to design the presentation, the figures to go into it, but here is how you can do that in seconds. The tool is called Napkin, and this is where you can get visuals from your text. So this tends to be business sort of focus, but you'll see how you can use it for research using these simple three steps. The first step is to head over to something that you want to sort of talk about. Now this could be a peer reviewed paper if you're doing a talk to your school, it could be your research, it could be whatever you want just to do a presentation on. And it's super simple to turn something like this, a massive peer reviewed paper into a simple three part image that you can use in a presentation. So let's have a look at the process I would use. Firstly, obviously you've got to select your little thing, whatever you want to talk about. In this case, I just want to talk about the abstract. So first of all, you kind of look at that and you go, well, that abstract's long. You know, you wouldn't just read that from a slide because that would be boring, not just for you, but the audience, they'd be like, uh, if I wanted to read, I would have just have read this uh, on my own. Why are you reading it to me? That's one of the most annoying things about a presentation, by the way, is when you just read from the slides. Nonetheless, we can take this over to something like ChatGPT or whatever large language model you want to use is completely up to you. My favorite is ChatGPT. And I've simply said, turn this paper abstract into four key points. And then it's given us four key points. So, sequential, blah, 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 sequential. <laughs> That's not how that was said. Okay, sequential deposition of monolayers, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, here are the four key points. And I think for every single slide that you're creating or every single image, you want three or four ideally you could squeeze it into three. There's this nice kind of rule where it's the rule of three, it just looks better on the slide, it helps people um, understand what you're saying more easily for some reason. So if you can say it in three points, but if not, just expand it to four, that's also okay. But no more, no one wants a slide crammed full of information. Save that for your, uh, I don't know, Save that for when you do want to bore your people, like your supervisor. All right, so here we go. This is what it sort of like turned it into, is these four points. And this is where it gets really cool, because if I was to try to turn this into an image in ChatGPT, it would just really destroy the text. The text wouldn't go across to the image at all, but using this tool, Napkin, we can do exactly that. So I take this over and I've put it into a napkin. It's really easy to create. A napkin you just go here create a new napkin and I've just sort of like copied and pasted it all into there and this is where the magic really begins now if I want something that talks about all of this you can see this little blue thing appear on the side generate visuals oh don't mind if I do. Click that and you get all of these options down the side that you can use and put in your presentation wherever this is going. So some of them don't make sense. Like this one maybe makes sense. This one, no, it's not like a uh, winning competition thing. So this does, it doesn't really make sense. But you just keep going until you find one. Oh, okay, we don't mind this. This is a pretty good one. So this is talking about like a central thing with four things coming inside. I like that. Oh, that was a bit rude. <laughs> Nonetheless. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Oh, reset. Um, this is probably a good option. Um, this one, let's have a look. It's not really a fishbone thing. This one could also be good because it's like a process. But let's go to the one I like, this one. And uh, then we've got loads of different options for the style as well. So I don't like that one. That one's a little bit too much. Maybe this first one here. Click on that and then we get this. This is where we can start sort of like manipulating the image so that it matches the style or however we want it to sort of like present our information. You can go on and click these things. You can change the color, the line thickness. You can also change like whether or not it's in like a big uh, square. It's got like a frame around it. Um, all of these things are super easy to put on. I don't want anything. So I think it looks maybe a little bit tacky in my opinion. And then over here, okay, we've got this. We want to change the text. No worries. Let's change it to that. Oh, Oh, that's beautiful. Um, then we can make it bold or not bold, and then we can make it different sizes. We can change the color, and you can go on and on. If you want to change, double click, and then say, oh no, I want it to say all of this rubbish. And then that's fine, it will stay there like that. But then you can just go up here to undo, perfect. 
and it's just so very easy to change what you want and what you've generated here. And so this image can be put straight into a presentation super easily. All you have to do is click on the main image. Actually, you can uh, drag and drop something like that. I want all of that and then it's simply download. You can download it as a PNG, SVG, a PDF, everything that we need for a presentation. And then we can choose whether we want the color mode to be light or dark and then we can just download it. Bonk! And it's as easy as that and export it to a PDF. Oh, that was probably the worst option. Let's go on that one. Let's export it as a PNG. I like that. Okay, PNG, and then we've got background. Let's turn the background off. Resolution, we want it to be nice high resolution because it's going on a massive screen at a conference. And then we click download and then we can just click open. And then hopefully you can see, oh, it's on this screen. I'll bring it over. This is what we've ended up with. And then we can just put that straight into our presentation. Love it. So that is how you do it if you've got all of this information here. You can also sort of take each individual one and you can say, I want a figure for that. So once again, it's taken the four bits and you know, it doesn't always choose the best styles, but you gives you so many styles. Look at this, we've even got this. Achieving controlled OPV morphology, something simple, cycle of morphology and engineering. So all of this is just so easy to do and it's an easy way to really fill out all of those presentations that you are making. I really like that. And the great thing about napkin, at the moment it's in beta. So if I go here and talk about pricing, oh, we like this. I don't know how long it's free, but while it's in beta, it's free. So right now you can use it. And it says here that you can create three napkins free forever. And I really like, um, yeah, how they've structured this because I think this will be enough for most PhD students and researchers. And then our professional plan, enterprise plan, you know, we can buy it if we want to, if we're creating a presentation and then cancel our subscription a little bit later. So that is the process I would use. I would take this anything you want to talk about. Then I would put it into ChatGPT and squeeze it down to like three uh, or four bullet points. Three is better in my opinion. And then you go over here, create a new napkin, and you can put it in here and just sort of like start working with the text and turning it into a figure. It's never ever been easier to create a really visually based research uh, presentation. And I think you will absolutely love this. Go check it out. If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about AI research poster design. It's really cool and awesome. It's an old school video. I got a longer beard. I think you'll love it. Go check it out.